I always say the only kind of art I'm interested in acquiring is the finest that there is. And I feel that our search was the same. We all agreed that the next level for us would be to raise our persona intellectually and also to look into our curatorial strength. And I said that to my selection committee. What we have to do is find the finest person there is. And I think we've been able to do that. And I can't wait to show you all. After an exhaustive international search, the Board of Trustees has selected Dr. Colin Bailey as the new director of the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco. Well, when I, when I was chairing the uh, National Endowment's indemnity panel, I was amazed every meeting San Francisco had the most ambitious projects. I was always wondering, how is it they've got Picasso? How is it they're doing music at the Musée d'Orsay show? How is it they have these, these shows? I was very impressed with this energy and really didn't un quite understand how this had happened, but could see it, that it had happened. After the tragic death of our director, John Buchanan, we really had to decide how to reinvent ourselves and how to go to the next level. I am absolutely thrilled because we finally found the right person to be able to say that we have a scholar of that stature who is now running our museum is really a great coup for us. They know your name. And of course, what they'll do is Google you because they Google. <laughs> and I can't wait until they do. You'll find that Dr. Colin Bailey studied at Oxford. He held posts at the Getty in Malibu, the Philadelphia Museum of Art, the Kimball in Fort Worth, and the National Gallery of Canada. He's been awarded the Mitchell Prize for Best Art History Book. I don't want to get bound up with one approach. I want to go back to a very a sort of fundamental obligation of the museum, which is to conserve, to show, to communicate, to educate. You know, museums are places of both enlightenment and enjoyment, and both of those are important. Since 2000, Dr. Bailey has been deputy director and chief curator at the Frick Collection in New York City. Now, he's in San Francisco. It, it, for me, it's, it, it's something of a dream come true. I've long wanted to be the director of a museum, and a museum whose collections, whose displays, whose programming and educational philosophy I can feel comfortable with and, and admire. And to be honest, the, the fact that the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco, in a way, wrap, are the Met, MoMA, the Frick, the Morgan all in one, and serve like as that for, the, for this vibrant community, I'm really excited. I know there's thorough support for the, for the types of um, projects and directions that I, I hope to introduce. What so excited me on the visits I've made to San Francisco is how welcomed you feel when you step into the De Young or the Legion. That sense of a, of, of a home, of a, of a place, regardless of size, is very important. And it was thrilling to me to see that there's already such enthusiasm for the audience. What Dr. Bailey loves most is talking about the art itself. And making them accessible and allowing people to enter them. Just listen to the way he enters these works. From Tiepolo. The goddess Flora, who was the goddess of fertility, of flowers, of spring, became, became somewhat licentious goddess for the Floralia, these games that happened every spring to sort of bring in the regeneration, if you like. And this is a fantastic painting by one of the greatest 18th century artists in any country, Giovanni Battista Tiepolo, painting at the top of his game. This is the most flamboyant, the most exciting, the most sensuous picture by this artist, one of the most. The colors are fantastic. They are, it's an impeccable state of conservation and preservation. And we do feel that everything is possible. Life is fully, <laughs> fully burgeoning. To Georgia O'Keeffe. We can't, when we look at it, but think of fertility and of femininity, of some sense of generation. We can almost smell the perfume. To Rembrandt. By the end of his life, a bankrupt, his mistress incarcerated, he's really lost this primacy, but he won't change the way he paints. Some of Dr. Bailey's observations about artists parallel his own experience with art museums. You have to have real commitment and belief in your, in your vision or in, your, in what you're doing and what you believe is right. And yes, of course, you have to be flexible and you have to be malleable to a degree, but at a certain point, you keep going. And that, I think that is the case of, of these great artists. We are finally led to another of the museum's great treasures. Three machines, 
by Wayne Tebow. I think one's first reaction is just how joyful and how bright and how luminous and how happy one feels looking at these quotidian, banal objects. A painting perhaps about wanting more than we can have, about consumerism, but also about childhood pleasures. I've loved this artist, I've seen quite a lot of his work, and I just, when I look at this, I just feel happy.